So this week in the good, bad, and the ugly, I just want to touch on a few things just to make sure everybody remembers how to be successful with these discussion postings. So don't forget to vote uh, on last week's which is the ugliest from I'm going to post everybody's bad examples and we're going to vote which one the, is the ugliest. Um, and then this week, you know, for the next attribute that we're talking about, which is um, simple design and layout, you know, don't forget to choose similar websites. So two websites that are of a similar topic. So like uh, two websites that are about learning how to play blackjack, maybe two websites that are uh, fast food chain websites, two pizza websites, two um, two two different blog websites. Um, I don't know, just they have to be similar websites because we have to make sure that we're comparing apples to apples. We can't say that Amazon's visual design is uh, amazing when you compare it to a website that's about um, Sherman Williams buying paint. You know, that, that, that doesn't make, you're not comparing apples to apples. You would need to compare Amazon's website to perhaps eBay or perhaps um, uh, sell.com, I don't know. Um, anyway, so, and then don't forget to have a descriptive subject line. So you would just say um, pizza websites for your subject line. Um, pizza websites, you know, you're, you're looking at simple design and visual design and layout. Uh, don't forget your link. Um, we've had people in the past in this class, you know, forget to post their link. You know, that doesn't really do us any good because we want to go to those websites too and check them out. Um, don't forget, but, but more importantly, don't forget you're critiquing based on functionality and design of these websites. So website, how a website functions is very different than the visual design. We have a tendency um, as novice web designers to sometimes just be critiquing the visual things. You know, oh, these colors don't look good. Oh, this doesn't look good. But you also need to keep in mind and think about the functionality of a website, how, they, how you're actually able to use the website and, and how it does. So let's go ahead and look at our topic this week. So this week, we're like I said, we're talking about simple design and layout, and I'm gonna uh, like link you to, for example, two different websites like Cartoon Network. Um, you know, has very different functionality and design than than Cartoon Brew, and I, we're gonna talk about that. I mean, you're gonna the, so you're going out and looking for you know something something similar, and you're gonna you can critique the the simple layout. And design the simple layout, the simple layout, a simple design and layout based on the two different similar websites. So as you're critiquing, you know, look for talk about the functionality of the the good example, the design of the good example, and same thing with the bad example. And then here I just give you some tips. You know, users from this expert uh, from freelance folder said, you know, users always want to find websites that are simple, streamlined, consistent. And some of the websites that you guys are going to be finding are obviously going to be all over the place so have fun this week when you're talking about that and um, let's just take a look at the post how to make a posting real quick so here's where you're actually going to be making your posting don't forget you're going to create a message and then in the subject line make sure it's descriptive so maybe you're critiquing the simple design layout of pizza websites and don't forget uh, always go but when you're making your posting check and make sure nobody else has critiqued pizza websites and then in your posting you're going to make sure you give us all uh, your good link and your bad link give us your critique for good and bad um, make sure you know we can basically understand what you're talking about as you're critiquing uh, simple design and layout feel free to preview and make sure your posting looks the way that it should and then if you have attachments you can always add attachments normally people don't do that um, but don't forget, we're critiquing simple design and layout, and um, when you're critiquing those good examples and bad examples, do so in terms of how they function and how, how those websites function and how they're designed, and then you would just post it for the class. Good luck.